Hey everyone, welcome to part 4 of my 10 part series showing my top 10 personal favourite YouTubers. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get straight into this one. Um, okay, the YouTuber I have picked um, to be in my top 10, she is, well, that's the first close, she's a she. Um, She's 25 and she is currently based in New York, I think. Um, yeah, she, she definitely is. Um, and uh, yeah, she is a, a gamer. I'm not going to say a girl gamer because um, I don't. Um, I don't like to use that term, girl gamer, because I'll get into that. I'm going to do a video actually about that at some point and um, the whole concept, uh, whole thing about girl gamers and uh, some people's opinions on that subject. I'm just going to call her a gamer and a great one at that. Um, yeah, so today I will be talking about Lauren's side. Um, yeah, that's spelt like Lauren Z or Z if you say it like I do in England. And then side or one word. Yeah, um, so yeah, I really i am such a big fan of Lauren. Um, I only initially came across her channel in December, um, really randomly. Um, yeah, so she, I have a lot to say about her because I really hold her in high regard. I think she's very, um, very charismatic. Um, she has a great sense of humor. It, she's very quirky um, and quick-witted, but yeah, her, her quirkiness is uh, what makes her endearing to me. I can totally relate to her in so many ways. Um, and when I when I first, you know for, saw her first video, she stood out instantly to me as different to so many other uh, gamers. Not not just female gamers, but male gamers. Just gamers in general. Um, she stood out as. Uh, really different and um, very special. Um, I mean she initially wanted to, I, I heard, well she said that she wanted to initially go into stand-up comedy but she decided against that in the end and I can see why she would have been great at that too but she brings that side of her to her gaming channel. Um, yeah and I didn't even really say everything that she does but mainly it is let's let's plays of games um with, uh, like one-off games uh, series uh, you know series or yeah get games like uh, well a high a big mix of games really um and that is her main thing uh, the the game inside um and i mean she has done a lot of things i am that I have really loved. Um, my favourite series of hers are well. There's a few actually ongoing now. Um, she does a, a Five Nights at Freddy's based version of The Sims, um, Sims Four, and that is so funny. Um, and yeah, it really shows a sense of humour and her imagination. And I really love that series, and I always look forward to watching it when I see that she's posted a new episode. Um, yeah, she also is playing Life is Strange, which is like a great, great game. And her playthrough, I would say, has been my favourite. And, and that that's a big thing for me to say. Um, yeah, she's played lots of other random games. I've really, like, thoroughly enjoyed watching her play, like Squibble Knots, um, Spooky's House of Jump Scares, and Goat Simulator especially. That was so awesome. Her playthrough of that was so funny. And I think that's what really put her in like put her way up after I watched them because I really I really laughed at them and uh yeah they were great. Um yeah I, I said that she mainly games but I forgot to mention that she does uh like loot crate unboxings every month as well. Um she's done that for a few years now I think and um they're always really funny too and always generally feature her dog uh, Dexter and 
yeah, I, I love watching those. Um, I don't really watch... I haven't really watched any Loot Crate un unboxings. Not not many of us, anyway. But um, I've watched pretty much all of Lauren's, and I <laughs> like really found them all very enjoyable. And that that is what I really love about Lauren. Um, there are things that I wouldn't normally choose to watch, but when she does them, I will watch them. Um, an example of this is uh, like Minecraft. I gave that more of a chance because she did a a live stream, um, which I was lucky enough to catch, and she did a well. She was playing Pixelmon, which I'd never really heard of before. I mean, I might have heard of it, but I didn't know what it was. And obviously, it's a Minecraft version of Pokemon, um, and like I really watching that I, I really liked it and, and the whole Minecraft thing like really went up in my opinion after seeing um, her playing it on, on the live stream as well and, and live streaming you know it's a hard thing because it's it's it's, it's a step beyond I guess uh, let's play because obviously it's all there's no editing at the time it's just all the person who is live streaming is just there and it's all in the moment um, so it's Harder to make a live stream engaging than a let's play, but yeah, she, I've catched um, a few of her live streams and I, I've really enjoyed them all. And the thing is, she really does interact with her fans. I mean, I was quite lucky because she interacted, well, she responded to her uh, comments of mine quite a lot, and that is a great quality to still be in touch with her fans, even though she is picking up a lot of momentum on her channel and success. She still values the fans a lot and I really appreciate how much she I mean I probably interacted with her more than anyone else on on YouTube out of the um, high, higher subscribe people that I admire and yeah it's, it was really nice um, for that to happen so yeah that, that was another thing that put her up even further in my estimation um, yeah I have a lot of respect for her as well because um I don't know if all but I yeah I mean a lot of YouTubers obviously do YouTube as a full-time job and that that's great I support that fully because I love YouTube but um I have like a little um extra respect for Lauren just for maintaining her channel and still producing great quality uploads even though she still works I think like five to six days a week and um, get up at like half seven in the morning and sometimes not be finished with her personal life until like 7 p.m. 11 p.m. sometime ranging between there but she still always manages to put up three to four new videos a week and I really highly admire that and that is something I need to remember because Right now, I'm not working myself, and I haven't for a while, but when I do work, I will not stop this channel. I will not stop uploading every day. I will continue, because I'm really determined to do it, and um, someone like Lauren is an inspiration to me for still managing to... I mean, not just put content out, because it's easy to just put any old content out but to put great quality content out still and she still seems to have a passion for like gaming and really loves it and she is like really she wants to I mean another reason I can highly relate to her is because she said that she wants to extend her childhood through her, um, through her channel you know keeping the gaming thing going and being a, a child forever because that's exactly the same thing I want to do I, I don't want to grow up I mean I'm 27 I'm I'm 27 on Friday, but I am just, I will always be a kid at heart, and I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, getting away from that random interlude. Um, yeah, um, I don't know if there's anything else to say, I'm just trying to think, I think that's about it. I, I've said all I wanted to there. Um, but yeah, that that's the uh, on my list, the second... Uh, gamer uh, or let's player uh, whichever you prefer so yeah I mean but she is 
she is great. I mean, yeah, I, I, without just repeating the same things, um, I've pretty much said everything. So I will, I think, cut this video short now. Um, and yeah, I will be continuing the series throughout the week. And if there's any any ideas for top tens or any more random videos like I did um, over the weekend, then feel free to um, give me your suggestions. And uh, I, any feedback, as always, good or bad, is highly welcome. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, everyone.